Hi, today is Sunday the 15th of November and this is the weekly outlook for SPX. This is the four hour chart, but before we start, let's have a look at the distribution of time returns, log returns. We see the courtesies is very low, so the distribution looks, I would say, even more normal than it usually is. A normal courtesies is probably around two to three, so this is a bit of a low courtesies which is the opposite of the fat tail distribution, which probably indicates that the distribution should be rather normal with contained moves going forward. And if we look at the dispersion, we are right in there. So we're, the bulk of distribution is generally the log return distribution. We are somewhere here. And definitely the courtesies is indicating this, the chance of fat tails is reduced. If we look at the SPX VIX anti-correlation, very high. So at least, even though we can see that the, the market is hesitant and difficult to read, at least we can count on a good correlation with volatility. So now let's move back to this for our chart. Here we see that on the, when we had the Pfizer spike here, market moved up and the support was on this third level support. And now that the range has expanded, this is now on the fourth level. So I don't see this support level as being very strong. And because now it has bumped on 3600, which is the third level in terms of power, I would say the four hour chart is not very significant right now. And what we can see is that, of course, from late in the week, the market seems to be returning to some bullishness. But I'm going to take a look at a daily chart. Daily chart is definitely looking at maybe testing recent highs here. I mean, it definitely looks like a spike. And if we go back to the data here, we see that the spike came with a very strong volume, twice the amount. And that generally indicates an exhaustion on a bull side. So we have to look at this as a bit of a fluke here. Doesn't mean that the market is gonna go back there soon. But of course, we can have on this time frame or back to four hour, something that would be akin to a head and shoulders. So we will see on Monday if the market passes 3600. It could of course be also be a double top but it seems, and, and, and if it goes there, we will again see whether the market goes there, some volume exhaustion. So if we have another hammer style, hammer style candle, which we could maybe see better on the one hour chart on Monday, and this is, well, this is Akinashi, so the, we, we can't see the normal style, but this, this looks like a doji to, to hammer style. So again, I would, we're first going to have a look whether the market goes up, how powerful the, the move up, or it may not even pass at 3600. Let's see whether there's some momentum building up. At this time, I would be hesitant to believe so. So on a four hour chart, we, will, we can't ignore that the range has expanded here. So while wider moves would be in order, at the same time, from the courtesies and the time distribution of log returns, it looks like it's, it's not going to be happening. So at this time, we see the 35, 35 to 15, 35 to 20 as a support. Stronger support is still on the pivot here, about 34, 40. And here also, we see that it, it's not maybe the Fibonacci support was a strong indication than this third level support from the Mary Math lines. And so I would say that, of course, we would normally go back into the, the Christmas rally end of the year, um, but I am still fairly hesitant about it. The only positive sign from what I can read is that moves should be contained. If it fails to pass 3600, it could test 3515 and probably go to a deeper retracement profit taking on 3440, 3450. Now, if it goes back to the lower range pivot generally dictates where the market goes one side or the other so at this time i would say the market will definitely stay uh, on on the north side of pivot and if it goes below there will be a definite definitely a change in dynamics and we would then probably plot a fib expansion maybe to around here and look at some 
target. And as you can see, target will be the first pip again or thereabout. And then the second one will be unpivot. So we will first see on Monday whether the market passes 3600, the volume being put into play here and see whether the market is ready to retrace to here or below. Again, on a daily chart, maybe to have a better look, here we have that trading range and that is being broken on the upside. I still don't take this anomaly as a strong indication. So I would say the market, besides that Pfizer spike, is still looking at 3600 as the all-time highs. So now lastly, a look at the one hour chart. We see that the support levels have gone up. Pivot is right here. I still see this anomaly as being probably tested, but really we are on this time frame, we are still on the lower half of the range. So the breakout will definitely be an indication whether it stays in this range to let's say 35, 35.15 to 3600. And I don't see on Monday the market going further down, but then we will see how action develops and whether we can see the market going back to the strong support on 34.40. So to sum it up, probably trying to break out on, on Monday, see whether the volume comes along, then if it doesn't, it will then stay in this range and test 35.15 again. I don't see we will have some selling acceleration, but if we do, we'll go to the second fib and support level of 34.40. This may not be a very clear cut outlook, but as I said, and, and, and of course there's some uncertainty still with the elections. President Trump still capable of doing very silly things. Uh, he's fired hot shots from the Pentagon, his Secretary of Defense. So. Who knows what can happen? So I would recommend to remain, to remain cautious in the next few weeks until we have a clearer picture of the transition. Okay, thank you for watching and bye for now.